Okay, the side men and the roofer are supposed to be here tomorrow. That would normally be a conflict, but I've got it scheduled out where it'll work. Got to get a paver over here and see that is roots underneath this driveway from that sweet gum tree that the previous owners let get too big. They'll be re roofing the house, putting siding on the garage, and roofing it. The sign guys will start on the roof, I mean on the side on the garage tomorrow. The roofers will start tearing off and re roofing the house and then move to the garage after the side men finish about lunchtime Saturday, hopefully. Most roofers don't know how to use a starter strip. I'm using 30 pound felt. Anything over a 7 and 12 pitch should have 30 pound felt. Using Cobra Ridge vents and using ice and water shield in all the valleys and probably around all the eaves. And I'll have to watch this roofer, make sure he knows how. I'm not going to let him rack the roofing more susceptible to wind and it voids the warranty, the manufacturer's warranty. And make sure you use the starter strip correctly. Most roofers will use a regular three tab shingle, turn it upside down and start it. It has a glue tab of about five inches. That's improper. If you're going to use a regular shingle, you need to cut the three tabs off at the bottom and slide the shingle down to the eave where that glue tab will seal to the first course as it starts across the eave. And most roofers that have been in business even 20 or 30 years do not know that. Anyway, keep you updated and see how it all works out.